Anita is 24 years old. She has been trying to conceive for the last six months. Anita has been having irregular periods on and off since her puberty. She experienced vaginal dryness and hot flushes. It would seem that at the age of 24, she is going through menopause. What is going on with Anita? Anita is going through premature ovarian failure. Anita is among the 1% of women under 40 who have the problem of primary ovarian insufficiency. What is POI? Primary ovarian insufficiency or POI is also known as premature ovarian failure. Happens when a woman ovaries stop working normally, when the ovaries have a decrease in estrogen production and ovulation before the age of 40 years. A woman with POI may have fewer eggs or the ovaries might not mature or release eggs correctly. The ovaries then don't make the normal amounts of hormones. This leads to the symptoms of POI. Is it, same as is it same as menopause? No, it isn't. Menopause is the natural decline of fertility that happens gradually after the age of 40. They may start getting irregular menstrual periods as they trans transition to menopause. At the time of menopause, the ovaries run out of eggs to release each month. In contrast, for women with POI, irregular periods and reduced fertility start before the age of 40. Women with POI may even have normal menstrual cycles. They also may still have eggs in their ovaries. Is it same as premature menopause? It is also important not to confuse POI with premature menopause. With premature menopause, your periods stop before age 40 and once that happens, you can no longer get pregnant. The cause can be natural or it can be a disease, surgery, chemotherapy or radiation. A woman with POI may still have some function of her ovaries and in some cases can still have occasional periods. They may even get pregnant. In most cases of POI, the cause is unknown. So if you want to know if conception is a possibility for women with POI, the answer is yes. At what age does POI happen? Although POI becomes more common between the ages of 35 to 40, younger women can get POI. Sometimes it can start as early as the teenage years. What are the signs and symptoms of POI? The key signs of POI are missed or irregular periods for four months, typically after having had regular periods for a while, high levels of follicle stimulating hormone, low levels of estrogen. How is primary ovarian insufficiency or POI diagnosed? If a woman is younger than age 40 and begins having irregular periods or stops having periods for four months or longer, we may take the following steps to diagnose the problem. Do a pregnancy test. The test will rule out an unexpected pregnancy as the reason for missed periods. Do a physical exam to look for signs of other disorders. In some cases, the presence of these other disorders will rule out POI. Or if the other disorders are associated with POI, such as Addison's disease, a healthcare provider will know the POI may, may be present. Run some blood tests, namely FSH or follicle stimulating hormone test. If the ovaries are not working properly, as in the case, as is in the case of POI, the level of FSH in the blood increases. The healthcare provider may do two FSH tests at least a month apart. If the FSH level in both tests is as high as it is in women who have gone through menopause, then POI is likely. Luteinizing hormone or LH test, women with POI may have high LH levels, more evidence that the follicles are not functioning normally. Estrogen test, in women with POI, estrogen levels are usually low because the ovaries are not functioning properly in their role as estrogen producers. Karyotype test, the test looks at all 46 of your chromosomes to check for abnormalities. The karyotype test could reveal genetic changes in the structure of chromosomes that might be associated with POI and other health problems. Do a pelvic ultrasound to see whether or not the ovaries are enlarged or have multiple follicles. Autoantibodies to check for an autoimmune cause. We may also look at the woman, medical history for a blood relative with POI or its symptoms a blood relative with fragile X syndrome or an unidentified intellectual or developmental disability, ovarian surgery, radiation or chemotherapy treatment, pelvic inflammatory disease or other sexually transmitted infections, and endocrine disorders such as diabetes. What causes POI? In about 90% of cases, the exact cause of POI is unknown. Research shows that POI is related to problems with the follicles. Follicles are small sacs in your ovaries your eggs grow and mature inside them. One type of follicle problem is that you run out of working follicles earlier than normal. Another is that the follicles are not working properly. In most cases, the cause of 
The follicle problem is unknown, but sometimes the cause may be genetic disorders such as fragile X syndrome and Turner syndrome, a low number of follicles, autoimmune diseases including thyroiditis and Addison's disease, infections that damage the ovaries such as mumps, problems with hormones that regulate the ovaries such as follicle stimulating hormone FSH, toxins that affect the ovaries like chemotherapy or radiation therapy, metabolic disorders such as thyroid disease, toxins such as cigarette smoking, chemicals and pesticides. Who is at risk for primary ovarian insufficiency or POI? Certain factors can raise a woman's risk of POI, family history. Women who have a mother or sister with POI are more likely to have it. Genetic factors. Some changes to genes and genetic conditions put women at higher risk of POI. You may be more likely to have POI if you have thyroid disease, certain infections what the possible complications associated with POI. Since POI causes you to have lower levels of certain hormones, you are at greater risk for other health conditions, including infertility. Most POI women will have difficulty conceiving naturally and may need IVF treatment and oocyte donors. Heart disease, lower levels of estrogen early in life can affect the muscles lining the arteries and can increase the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries. These factors increase your risk of atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries and heart attacks. Osteoporosis. The hormone estrogen helps keep bones strong. Without enough estrogen, women with POI often develop osteoporosis. It is a bone disease that causes weak, brittle bones that are more likely to break. Can ovarian insufficiency be treated? Currently, there is no proven treatment to restore normal function to a woman's ovaries. Current treatment options aim to alleviate the some of the symptoms of POI, lower the health risks due to POI and treat the conditions that POI can cause. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT. HRT is the most common treatment. It gives your body the estrogen and other hormones that your ovaries are not making. HRT improves sexual health and decreases the risks of heart disease and osteoporosis. You usually take it until about age 50. That's about the age when menopause usually begins. However, HRT may not be an option for women with history of cancer. Calcium and vitamin D supplements are advised to address the risk of osteoporosis, regular physical activity and a healthy bo body weight. Getting regular exercise and controlling your weight can lower your risk for osteoporosis and heart disease. How does POI affect the conception? The conception chances. Women with POI have irregular periods and do not ovulate or release an egg every month. This makes it difficult to get pregnant. But studies have shown that a small percentage of women, that is 5 to 10 percent, with idiopathic premature ovarian failure, where the cause is unknown, do sometimes ovulate and become pregnant. It's important to remember that a POI diagnosis doesn't mean you should give up your hope of starting a family. Although it's not impossible to become pregnant naturally with POI, it is very unlikely. That being said, there are fertility treatment options available. For women who have frozen their eggs and POI is as a result of surgery or cancer treatment, IVF treatment using your own eggs is an option. However, for women with POI as a result of genetics or an autoimmune disease, a different route may be recommended as there will usually not be enough high quality eggs available in the ovaries to use. The most commonly recommended option for in these cases is to become pregnant using IVF and donor eggs. A fertility specialist will look at your individual situation and will be able to advise you of the best route forward for the best possible chance of pregnancy. If you have any of the signs or symptoms, do see a fertility specialist without any delay. I hope you found this video useful. If there are any topics you want us to come up with video in future, do let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.